What is up, YouTube gang? Hey Thank y'all for tuning back into Shenanigan Family. We've been away two days on the beautiful Christmas Eve and Christmas Day vacation with hope our little ones. Hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. Yes, hope y'all was filled with joy, happiness, great food, great Memories, fun with family, friends, everything. whoever you are with. But on that note, we are heading into some Shane Gillis today. Some comedy in our life. Mm. And uh, this is called Autistic People. Oh my gosh. See, I'm not, tr I'm not trying to go to the... You're gonna be there. I ain't trying to go down low. Hey, this type of comedy, we're gonna be there. Hello. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> melancholy? I have come down with a severe case of melancholy. Don't do inside stuff, but yes, I've, it's a funny way to say you're depressed. Okay. I knew that was coming. Here's SNL right away. Yes. It's me. I was fired from SNL. Actually, not for the reason you heard. It's because I'm terrible at improv, and uh, this is this is gonna be bad. What? They didn't care. North Korea? Hmm. Huh. I, I was. I I like it. I like what's going on there. I support it. I liked when Trump and Kim Jong Un. Or is it ill now? Whatever. It was my guy, dude. You see him drop a couple LBs, show back up, everyone was like, oh! There's videos of him riding a horse, which is about as funny as it gets. I rode a scooter here, and I probably looked like a fat guy on a horse. There's something about when somebody's balance is that high off. <laughs> just way up there. Just... Yeah, I like North Korea, and I support them. And uh, yeah, if they decide to nuke South Korea, Shit would be tight. <laughs> really? <laughs> that would be lit. <laughs> I support a, a war, I guess. That's called improv, folks. <laughs> I had no idea what this show was. What else? <laughs> Italians? Italians are the last people we can be openly racist against. <laughs> And that's, that's going to stop. And somebody's going to... I was the last guy with Asians. I was the final one. They were like, nope, nope, the cutoff was just now. You're fired. I was like, what? I thought we were, that was the one we were allowed to be. That's going to happen to somebody with Italians. Like, I can come up here and be like, fucking wop, hook nose, greasy guidos. And everyone's like, yeah, that's pretty funny. Three years, that clip will be shown and be like, whoa. Which actually, this isn't gonna go well, but uh, it's funny that that had to happen for every, you know? He's scared there was one day it. where saying it wasn't cool anymore. That is true, though. They do be digging up some facts. <laughs> that is you know? true, though. They do be digging up some facts from years ago. They did it to Kevin Hart. It was like a tweet like 20 years ago, and they dug it up, and he couldn't even host a like, show or nothing. So comedians do gotta be safe. They they gotta play it safe because people out here snitching. Twenty years later, got the receipts. There's a there's a lot for other people too. Yeah, you it's not be. just comedians. It's like rappers and singers. They gonna dig up a receipt from twenty years ago. I mean, some guy walked into his office and dropped it, and everyone was like, "What the fuck, dude?" He's like, "You guys don't think that's funny? I think that's funny. Maybe we disagree." Down syndrome? Oh. All right. Here we go. I'll do that. I bet. That was not my suggestion. But I will say this. I like it. I'm pro it. I have family members that have it. It's fun. That is weird because everybody's always like, oh, it's such a bad, it's the best thing you could be. They're happy as fuck, dude. They have the best life. Dude, autist, autistic kids, they're like cats. A little skittish. You're not sure if they like you at all? Down syndrome are dogs. They're the dogs, dude. You get home, you get home from somewhere, they're like, where the fuck have you been, dude? I got so much to show you. This is gonna be the best day. Tell it, ask a Down syndrome kid, do you wanna go for a walk? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, throw a ball. Throw the ball. Throw the ball, really? Oh, that. 
Country music? No, grunge. Grunge music? Uh, I don't know. I don't really. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? I love mayonnaise. How, how come you guys are just getting, like, exactly, you were like, do something racist. <laughs> Down syndrome. <laughs> fat. <laughs> Why are you just naming things I am? Mayonnaise? I love mayonnaise. Yes. I am constructed entirely of mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> Black rice? Sunburns? Sunburns? <laughs> All right, somebody in the back. These, these fucking Nazis in the front. <laughs> Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones? I like, yeah, no. Someone say Titanic? He owned the Cowboys. The Titanic? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm pumped on that. Why? <laughs> I by the face of stuff. But I like that. Bukaki. Just, Just dying. <laughs> Bukaki? Hold on, I'm doing, I want to think about Titanic, because that's pretty funny. It's funny to be like, let's go on a trip, and then you die. You know what I mean? Like that girl. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of her Titanic. Except Jack got Rose this time. <laughs> There's only room for one on the van. <laughs> He did the right thing. No, it's not good to, I, are we not allowed to make fun of that? I think we should be allowed to make fun of that girl. We're all good, yeah, shut up, lady. Don't make me come down there and take you in a van trip. Don't make me take you to a state park, lady. I will say that what's tough about it is they were making that fucking video of them like, we're going on a journey, like that YouTube video. And it's funny, because every time I see one of those, I'm like, fucking, I hope they die. Said, what? <laughs> oh my God. Why? And then this one, it was like, oh shit. <laughs> is, it, is that guy dead? Is he in a swamp dead right now? Is he on the loose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's hiding in the swamp? <laughs> no, dude, he killed himself. <laughs> if he went, all right, props. <laughs> <laughs> Look, fellas, I'm talking to the fellas real quick. You know when your bitch is getting a little yappy? And you're like, I'd like to strangle her and then uh, hide in a swamp and kill myself. Oh. <laughs> Every once in a while, somebody has the balls. Every it. once in a while? All right, that was Titanic. Next. <laughs> we went on about real people's deaths. That they At went... that point. All right, I got... I got Couple more, and then we gotta. Barber shops. Barber shops. All right. I don't know. Barber shops is tough. I've been going in there. I'm like balding, so it's it's very difficult, and people. I don't know if it's that funny. No, that's not funny. IKEA. IKEA. I'll tell you what. I like IKEA. Putting it together makes me want to take my girlfriend on a trip in a van. <laughs> They keep going back to the van. And they're not the most, like, sturdy. I'm fat, so, like, you buy cheap furniture constantly. Everybody's buying cheap, like, we built it ourselves furniture. They do have I gotta come to all my fucking hip, skinny communist hipster friend's house in New York and just shatter couches. <laughs> Everything's just breaking. <laughs> I'm going through couches. Dude. It is going that direction, though. It is getting cheaper. It is cheap, quick furniture now. You can order anything online. Like, before you had to go to the furniture store, Blame get some Amazon. high quality Blame stuff, Amazon. you can order a whole damn couch on Amazon. You can, you can, but you have to read the reviews because it can look like a big couch and you get in. It, like That's what I'm saying. Couch. Shit, it's getting, I'm telling you, gotta be careful. I mean, but it's like they say, you pay for what you, I mean, you pay, you get for what you pay for. I'd be for. damn if I go sit at somebody's house and break Ikea. something. Ikea is not, I, Ikea yeah, is I can't not. Yeah, I can't some cheap stuff. Yeah, but I mean, you can tell when you look at it. Nah, some of that stuff be cheap. No. I, I haven't like thought about it until right now. I swear to God, I broke two couches in the last year. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Just you sit, can't sit, sit hard, dude. I, I pop. Kobe Bryant. Don't do it, Kobe. Kobe. Hold on. Well, gentrification is funny, too. Well, Kobe's not funny. I will. Kobe, my friend Ari Shafir got in trouble. He's great. But he, my friend Ari tweeted a video when Kobe Bryant died that was like, ah, fucking rapist died, or something like that. <laughs> Sounds like it's not funny. <laughs> I, I get it. 
I didn't think it was funny at first either. Then why are you saying it? Because he said it at first. But then, all right, never mind. I shouldn't have brought it up. Need a joke alone. I didn't think it was great either at, the, at first, but then like comedy clubs started getting bomb threats and I was like, all right, now it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand why that's kind of funny. The, bomb threats? Uh, gentrification, I don't care. <laughs> Although, I'll tell you what's happening with gentrification is they're actually, I'm from like a white trash town and it's, nobody's talking about white shitty towns being gentrified. I've actually watched It's crazy. Show. My whole town used to be all dog shit. Now we have like a, we have a Chipotle. That's the that's a in white neighborhoods. That's the sign, dude. Black neighborhoods, you get like a cupcake shop and fucking hipsters. If you live in a poor white trash town, it's you get one Starbucks or one Chipotle. <laughs> Next thing you know, your whole town's gay. You know what's crazy? I never thought of how many times, like when you see a Starbucks, nine times out of ten, there's a Chipotle nearby. It is. It is. It and is. I never thought of it. And now I'm thinking about, about our town. Like, there is literally a Chipotle by every Starbucks. I'm trying to think. I grew up in the hood. What was the first thing that came over there? The first thing that came over there was Jack in the Box for us. We had a Jack in the Box built, and it changed the game. Jack in the Box is up the street. It changed There's the game. There's actually a show on Netflix that I actually like. I watched it. I think it's called Gentrification or Gentrified. And then McDonald's like came, and then ta no, Taco Bell came before McDonald's. Taco Bell came, and then it was McDonald's. And then now, it's now, cool shit now. now they got Dutch Bros over yeah, everything there. Everything. Now they got Dutch Bros. The hood over didn't move out. They didn't move up over there. They got Dutch donut shops. There. They got it all. It's cracking over there now. It is not the same. They got it all. And walking distance at that. When my and old a house brand was. new 7-Eleven. Exactly. We didn't and have none of that. 7-Eleven. I had a liquor store. That's about <laughs> it. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, they changed the game. He right. But Shane always comes through. I like I like reacting to Shane. I like when co comedians do this, like when they do it on spot and make do improv. That is so yeah, dope. Yeah, I think that's crazy. Cause they tell you though. how funny they really but are. But it's crazy because like, what if he can't think of nothing? You're like, some of them he passed up on. He didn't want to get he didn't yeah. want to get in trouble again. He's like, no, nah, I'm gonna pass out and I'm gonna leave out alone. Fun fact, fun fact. I, I like I said it already, but I love mayonnaise. I grew up. My mom, she's P Puerto Rican, and he like he talked so much mess about it. So when we started living together, a little story time, I grew up with my mom waking up with some coffee and she would toast her bread and she would put mayonnaise on it. And that's like what she would eat with her, with her coffee. So I grew up on that, that obviously. Y'all, that is pure <laughs> so, criminal. It's criminal. It's criminal. So I'll call somebody I do it. Go to jail. Like, at, times, to go to jail. at times I would do it. Like I'll toast some bread, put some mayonnaise on it and, you know, drink my coffee, eat it and everything. And then like. This criminal, y'all. I'm not even... Look, listen. Our son picked up that habit, too. They all deserve to go to jail. And our daughter somewhat does. But it's just like, I tell him, it's, like, it's good. Or like, um, you know the saltine crackers? The square ones, the saltines? My mom will put mayonnaise and put it, and it'd be like, a, a, it'd be like two, two little crackers and a thing of mayonnaise, and then you just eat it. I don't it's know. It's criminal, y'all. Don't lie. Y'all it, know it's criminal. It's but I crime. told him, what's the difference of that compared to toasting a sandwich? You're putting mayonnaise on it. But it's the other same stuff thing. on that sandwich. You just eat a, a coffee piece of at that. Hey, coffee at that. A a bologna. Piece of bologna. I don't put bologna on my stuff. Don't play. I'm saying when you were a kid, the bologna was cracking. Don't disrespect. You bologna. put bologna mayonnaise in a bread. Just take the bologna, bologna out. It's the same thing. I gotta start buying bologna again. Fried bologna is the smack. In Fried here. bologna. You see, that's what's I don't know if you. I had it. I know my grandma used to make it, but I don't think I ever ate it. For my country folk, my grandma taught me. My grandma's from Louisiana. She country as hell. Grandma don't watch this, so I can say that. Anyways, my grandma used to fry bologna and she put jelly on the bread and they used to eat it. It was so fire. And you want to talk about mine? It's a country thing. It's a lot of country folks coming back. Mine is a Puerto Rican thing. My mom did it, nope, so I did no it. Puerto Ricans coming back you up. That's what this. You're gonna have a lot of country folks come here and back me up. That's right there. It's just criminal. I feel like more or less it's like a salty and savory type of vibe criminal. with yours. Yes, criminal. What you talking about? I it's I'm gonna it, see y'all in the next video. It's good. You don't see D put, in jail. She in jail behind putting mayonnaise. You don't on toast. put like a whole slab. You just put enough to coat the bread. Put some damn butter. That's why they made butter in the world. Butter how, doesn't have a taste. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Get some salted butter. <laughs> Quit buying unsalted shit. And get the salted shit. You buy unsalted. Because I can't have salt like that. Gotta watch my health. So then, no, I'm gonna stick to mayonnaise. That's what's wrong with people. Just tripping. 